What a delight! My lovely colleagues from the tractor team gifted me one of these fresh-looking Tractor X1 controllers. In this episode, we talk about different approaches to create a hybrid DJ set. And guess what? Machines also gonna play a very important role in this. If you feel the vibe, send us some love, hit the bell below and subscribe for more tips and tricks on the Native Instruments channel. Let's go! and set up the gear. The Tractor X1 controller is connected to my computer via this main USB connection. And it also comes with an included USB hub. Once you connect the power supply, this hub becomes active and allows you to connect any external gear that you have around. And it's gonna be powered straight from the X1 controller. So saving you a couple of cables on your desk. In this case, I connected Machine MK3, which powered up. And I'm not only gonna use the MK3 controller to add a couple of sounds and step sequence loops, but also I'm gonna be using it as an audio interface for Tractor. So they both are gonna be sharing the same driver. One thing I have to make sure is to select the same driver in both applications. Here in the machine settings, I would select machine MK3 and in tractor, in the audio settings, I'm going to be selecting the same driver. So now both applications use the same master out. For Windows users, there's one thing to keep in mind. Please reach out for an audio driver that allows shared mode, for instance, Wasabi. If you got more questions on the whole installation process, please check out the links in the description where you can find a whole walkthrough on the Tractor X1, including installation guide and the how to use everything in machine series. There's some more settings in Tractor that I want to show you. In the Transport tab, please select Beat Sync Mode. This is gonna make sure that all the decks will stay fully locked in sync no matter what you do. And in order to sync Tractor with Machina, we'll be using Ableton Link. In Tractor's upper section here, you find this button that says Link. Please click it and this starts the Ableton Link protocol on this computer. That means that my machine application can also join here and you'll find also a button over here that says link and if I click that both devices are in sync. In order to find out if it really worked simply hit the button on machine and change the tempo. If you see that the tractor tempo is following like you see here then this means that everything is in sync and paired correctly. In my first example, I'm going to be using Tractor X1 in mixer mode. Deck A is already playing a track, while Deck B is in loop mode, giving me the second layer with high frequency percussions and a little bit of a synth loop going on here as well. The next step is carving out the frequencies here of both tracks to make some space for machine to be added in. So I'll just take a quick listen and cut the high end so only the low rumble is audible. And let's bring in the second deck. Okay, it's kind of melting together in a nice way. Let's take off the low frequencies of that second loop one more time. Hmm, sounds like a pretty nice mix between these two already. So let's start machine and hit the play button. Ableton Link is already active. So if I go over to the events window, I'll witness the play marker which is running. And also, if I move over to step mode, I'll see that the little light in my step sequencer is already active. So let's um, program a little kick drum pattern on top of the existing tractor mix. The fastest way to select another sound is to hold select down and reach out for another sound like a closed hat here 
Once you let it go, this sound is selected and you can program it right away in the step sequencer. So let's add a hi-hat into the offs. And maybe even an open hat also in the same location. And you feel that we're really getting into some kind of live mashup, live remix. I could at any point go into Tractor and mute the bass layer or just take away the high frequency content for some like drop moments. Together with Machine's Touch Trip, where I bring in some effects and, and the like. So, Another pro tip for you to keep in mind, go to machines settings and deactivate the pattern auto grow. Normally this mode would ensure that patterns are extended automatically while you record them. And in this case with this hybrid DJ set and lots of techno music, I would rather suggest you limit yourself to one bar only. The big advantage here is that when you play and you have the step sequencer open, you only see one page, right? And you can add some steps here and you will never navigate between pages and lose overview. So it's a very visually pleasing way to work, especially if you are in live situations on stage, right? I would just look at this page, erase some of the steps and basically put them somewhere else. And on the same kind of page, bring in the bass kick and it's all very easy to follow. And just as a basic housekeeping rule, I would suggest you color all the pads and you make your bass kicks red, your snare drums yellow, your hi-hats blue, and whenever you go to the step sequencer, you know what you are programming. I switched up the setup and this is something that looks more similar to something you would find in a club. On the left hand side, you got Machine Plus in standalone mode running already in sync with Tractor. And on the right hand side, there's the Tractor X1, this time connected with the main USB connection. I'm using it now in effects mode. This gives me access over the complex effect section in Tractor and it still allows me to control the transport buttons, to use the cue points and even to browse here while I mix everything with the volume faders and the EQ knobs over here. In order to use Ableton Link on Machine Plus, please make sure to log into the same Wi-Fi network that you use with your computer. And in the same menu you'll find also the MIDI tab and here's where you can activate Ableton Link right from the controller. This is a really versatile setup that is great to play a hybrid DJ set. In this example I'll be coming up with a little electro remix of a techno track which is running here in Tractor. So let's take a look at this. In this example here, I have two decks playing back in Tractor. Deck A is on fader number two and deck B on fader number three. Fader number one carries the signal of Machine Plus, which spits out its signal over this analog connection to channel number one. So I got all three signals in access now and let's see where this goes. First, I'll bring in some effects here. The wormhole, really classic effect here in Tractor that I love to use. With the knobs here, you can change the tonality of the effect at any point in time and move over to another cue point. This is a loop I saved in the same track. And this is gonna be the foundation for me to create a new breakbeat here with Machine. But before I record something in Machine, I'll go to the settings page and activate the record quantization. So whatever I record here into a pattern, it's gonna fit perfectly into the grid and sync with the tempo right away. So let's record a kick drum pattern. And a snare drum on top. And with the note repeat button, I'll be adding a couple of hi-hat figures here and there. Maybe 
a couple of claps on top. And while I keep this remix going and add some effects from machine, I prepare the next deck and tractor and bring it in and prepare myself for the transition. to the next deck. Let's keep that pattern playing. And when you hold down erase and hold any of these pads, it's gonna erase the pattern in real time. So I'm gonna erase all the kick drums right now. They're gone. And let's add some more 4-4 four, four kicks in the step sequencer. Machine comes with a bunch of ready-to-use synths. With those you can blend the borders between a DJ set and a live performance and become a true hybrid DJ. There's a couple of synths already loaded here in my machine project. The first one is the bass synth, which comes with a couple of parameters here that allow you to tweak the sound even further. And a hi-hat synth right next to this. And the hi-hat synth is something very versatile and useful when you work in a hybrid DJ set. And you can bring a hi-hat in and program a little pattern like this here. And while the pattern is playing, just switch out the sound with a knob and move between different types of hi-hats make it a little longer to create a little bit more excitement or even if you want to ramp it up, bring up the tune like this and really match the hi-hat with whatever is playing in your tractor set. It's really a great, great tool. And there is the snare synth and I brought it to the clap engine. So hitting the pad here gives me a really nice clap that I could also further tune change the decay or even the room inside of the clap and get a little bit of a artificial reverb tail in. So these are the sounds that I'm going to be using here for my performance and what I want to demonstrate is how you can create a drop inside a track and pretty much improvise the whole thing with machine during a DJ set. In the Tractor X1, two decks are running, both in loop mode, and I'll be using the Q buttons down here to switch out the track between a more like heavy 4-4 four, four section and a kind of a break section where high frequency content is playing. Let me just show that quickly. That's loop number one, and loop number two is another section of the song which I'm going to be using to ramp up the synthesizers here in Machine. So that's all we need and let's go.
during my performance, I somehow felt the magic and spontaneously brought in some more one-shot samples here with Machine. It's coming from a kit called Dub Sound Effects Kit Number Two from some expansion that I'm not even sure of. These signature sounds really made the whole thing coming together and I felt that once those sounds were coming in, um, it was almost like a new track that was happening just while I was doing it. Also, you could see me doing these long rise and drop moments. And what is really important um, to understand is that I'm using the lock button here on machine all the time. It's almost like my safety net. When I anticipate, okay, the drop is about to happen, I will just go in and hit the lock button one time so all the parameters are saved. And I also have a little bit of attention left to maybe work with the tractor controller, tweak some effects here and change the cue points here in my deck. Whereas I'll be climaxing with all the parameters here in machine to a point of no return where I feel okay now the drop needs to happen and this is where I actually hit the lock button so it all goes back to zero and here on the tractor controller in parallel you could see me moving back to cue point number three which is a loop with a 4-4 four, four kick drum that was coming from deck B and after the drop I just queued in deck number a from Tractor as well to bring in some more percussion and from there I was just like going free and improvising. In this demo I showed you how to use two decks in Tractor with machine but it's also possible to extend your hybrid DJ sets to four decks in total coming from Tractor so it gives you a lot of material to work with. Big shout outs go to my soul brother Chris Liebing. He is a techno shaman traveling the world and amazing people with his hybrid DJ sets. He's traveling with machine since years and he provided me with his very own custom machine project which is what we are going to take a close look at now. Going into the mixer and looking at the group section here, I find seven different groups all containing single one-shot samples. And you see that those are even labeled. I can see that group A is called snares. There's a clap group, a hat group, oh, even two hat groups, a rides, a 909 kit, and a percussion group. Let's listen to some of these quickly and audition a couple of these sounds. Oh wait, this wasn't the snare. Chris, this is a trash symbol that made it into the snare group. But anyway, let's listen to the claps. Yeah, some nice claps. Oh, 909 hats. Different one-shot samples that Chris is using to program patterns with the step sequencer, which is what I was showing you in an earlier section of this uh, video. I also noted that all of the samples are equipped with sound macros. So if it's a hi-hat or a ride, all of them have these three macros set up that allows him to change the length, so-called release of that sample, and also to change the tune right away. So all of these parameters are in direct access in the macro page. And I also noticed while watching some of his sets that he's a big fan of the note repeat button because any sound that's played with the note repeat is just starting to repeat itself and it's the automatic kind of snare roll feeling that we have. So let's try this with PP clap 001. And you hear it starts repeating in a 16 note pattern, which is adjustable up here. A very important point is that Chris is using the velocity sensitivity of the pads. So while the note repeat is activated and I hold my thumb here on the pad, by alternating my strength and the weight that I put on the pad, the snare roll gets louder and more quieter.
And this way he's able to create also improvised drops um, right away with every mix that he does on tractor he's able to come up with these magic Chris leaving snare rolls that people love. So let's try and put all of this into action and create a little performance. Now, when Chris is traveling, he's using Machine MK3 and both applications run in parallel on his computer in the same way that we've shown in the first part of this video. Thanks to all you folks out there sending in requests and making this video possible. It's been amazing to get into the DJ mindset of my early days. Who knows, maybe it's time and I should finally get out of this basement and play clubs and festivals again. So if you got a booking or request for upcoming tutorials, simply drop it in the comments. That said, all the best and see you again soon.